Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. At the outset, I think there are some uh, points that need to be reiterated that have emerged during this debate. And that is firstly that it's not unusual for politicians in senior positions to overrule local authorities. My old friend uh, Sadiq Khan has done so repeatedly as the Mayor of London. The second point which needs to be emphasised is the role of the London Borough of Tower Hamlets with this particular application. We would not be here at all if the, uh, the London Borough of Tower Hamlets had exercised the duty they were legally obliged to exercise within the time frame that they were obliged to do so. Twice they failed to discharge that duty and twice it had to be referred to higher authorities. The Honourable Member for Croydon North referred in his opening remarks to the fact that Tower Hamlets opposed this application. Why didn't they decide it? They had the opportunity to do so. The Honourable Member for Ilford North referred to the fact that the affordable housing element was reduced after it had been referred to the Secretary of State. They had the power to approve it when it was set at 35%. There could be 35% affordable housing on that development if they had simply exercised the powers they legally had. The third point is that uh, much has been made of Richard Desmond's donations and in common with my honourable friend I'm, I'm almost speechless at the bravery of the honourable gentleman over, over this other's way. Uh, referring to Tony Blair. I know that Tony Blair's name is something the Labour Party don't like to hark back to. Richard Desmond is on record as having donated substantial sums of money, way more sums of money than this, to multiple political parties. He's also known for socialising with senior politicians, including Sadiq Khan and leading members of the opposition. Nor is it unheard of, as my honor right honourable friend said in his speech, for ministers to take decisions that contradict the advice of planning inspectors. John Prescott did so in 2005 when he approved the new stadium for Brighton and Hove Albion Football Club. Hazel Blears did so in 2008 when she approved a 43-storey tower block on London's South Bank. And again, nor is it unheard of for these decisions to be overturned by the High Court, as that decision by Hazel Blears was, and a recent decision by Sadiq Khan was uh, when, in March, the High Court ruled that a permission that he had given to a housing developer should be overturned. What this is, Madam Deputy Speaker, is a desperate attempt by the opposition to blow enough smoke to make people believe that there is a real fire. I don't have time, I'm afraid. Um, <clears throat> they are doing this simply to deflect from their own woeful lack of delivery in affordable housing. Perhaps, if they really care about this issue, Madam Deputy Speaker, the next opposition day, opposition day debate they have could be on the woeful record of Sadiq Khan in delivering only 12,000 affordable units in exchange for the £4.82 billion of government grant that this government have granted to him. Thank you. Thank you.